It's finally here, folks. We didn't know if we'd see the day, but the SEC championship is this weekend, and the Florida Gators will be in Atlanta. For more on this historic matchup, we bring in our guy, Brent Beard. Brent, thanks for joining us. Happy almost Christmas. Absolutely. Happy Christmas to you. Let's start with this, the obvious question, which is, Alabama's heralded offense going up against a Gators defense that has been suspect the last few weeks. What do you anticipate going down in the ATL on Saturday? Well, the, the, the real key for the Gator defense, I think, is two things. Can they get lined up right, and can they communicate? They have struggled with that. This defense has improved. Now, for some reason, they seem to sleepwalk through the first quarter or, or maybe first quarter and a half. That can happen on this one. And I think the other thing for that defense, this is, this is a tremendous Bama offensive line. Anadja Harris running the ball. Uh, can they stop the balance that Bama's got run pass? Obviously, the Gators offense, we know what they can do. A lot of people are expecting a shootout in this one. Will Kyle Trask be able to get any traction, though, against a pretty underrated Alabama defense? Uh, well, the, the Gators are number one in the league in sacks. Guess who's number two? It's Alabama. Uh, and, and the Bama defense has really improved, uh, frankly, since the second half of that Georgia game. Uh, that They actually lead the SEC. I, I never thought I'd believe this first of the year in scoring defense. But, Mia, here's the reality. When Kyle Pitts is in the game, magical things happen for the Gators. He's such a difficult guy to cover. And does that open up some room for uh, the shorter kid and for Copeland uh, and for Grimes, these other Gator receivers uh, at that point? But, but, look, your point's a good one, too. The, can the Gators block the Alabama front four particularly on that right side of the Gator line, where, Mia, you, you call attention to this, they've struggled on that right side of the line the entire year, haven't they? And they especially struggled last week against LSU. Yes. That's why I think your point about Kyle Pitts is so interesting because the College Football Playoff Committee said that that factored into their reasoning for keeping the Gators at number seven in the rankings because Kyle Pitts did not play against LSU. Because they're at number seven, there's still an outside chance if this Gators team with two losses wins the SEC championship game and beats Alabama, they would be in the playoff. Dan Mullen says it's a possibility. What do you say, Brent? Well, uh, there would have to be a lot of things to happen. Uh, it, forgotten in all this, Mia, is A&M, right? Texas A&M uh, has only had one loss. Would the committee overlook and forgive Florida – for an abysmal loss to a, to the worst LSU team that we have seen in a long time. Would a win over Alabama uh, actually be more than that loss to LSU? Most wonderful time of the year, football, yeah. basketball, Brent Beard. I wouldn't ask for anything else under my Christmas tree. Brent, if I don't speak with you, happy holidays. Thanks as always for stopping by. Yeah, you too. Always enjoy it and hope folks enjoy championship weekend coming up on Saturday.